Well, welcome to Copyright Road Homestead. This is a guinea behind me. I want to talk to you about her and show you what she's doing. If you're interested, stay tuned. Like I said, this is a guinea behind me. We have had up to 30 or 40 guineas at one time. Right now we have three guineas. I think we have two uh, females and a male. This is one of our females, and she is um, sitting on a clutch of eggs. She's been sitting on them for a while. I didn't notice whenever or I didn't note the date the first day that I uh, saw that she was sitting over here, but she's got at least 30 eggs under her. And one of the reasons you'd have guineas is because uh, they are supposed to be great pest control for ticks and things. And here in Western Kentucky, we have a lot of ticks. They aren't very good mothers. So I've really considered hard whether to take these uh, these guineas, these keats away from her. A baby guinea is called a keat. I'll try to keep you updated and uh, watch this. Uh, guineas are really great. Uh, some people hate them and some people love them. They are loud. I've heard that, uh, uh, that even though they're not supposed to mess in the garden, sometimes they do. Uh, so, and they don't always do that wonderfully at uh, pest control. Uh, but um, some of you might really love them. If you have had guineas and you've had a good experience, let me know. Uh, our experience hasn't been that bad except for their loudness. I would love to hear what your experience is. Uh, let me know below, comment down below if you uh, have a good experience with them. Uh, like and subscribe, hit that bell notification so you never miss a notification. Make sure to select all. We have a live stream every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Central Time. We'd love to have you then. Thanks. They're not really attractive animals. If I swing around here, maybe you can see some of the eggs that she's sitting on. See there? Our guineas aren't very tame. Uh, most guineas are not. Um, uh, there's a phrase, uh, wild as a guinea. Um, and that's because that you know they're not really very tamed most of the time. Maybe you have experience or you've heard of individuals that have had tame uh, guineas, but uh, ours are not. This is about the closest that I've been to them in a very long time, especially if I've not uh, uh, gotten them in a cage or something. Uh, but she's sitting on this uh, clutch of eggs and I've been visiting her uh, periodically, so maybe she knows that I'm not a threat. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't really think they're very attractive animals, do you? Do you like the way they look? If you do, let me know down in the comments below. Again, thanks for coming. We decided that we were gonna cover up these guineas and get them separate because they are horrible mothers and they roam around here and the little Keats get in the grass, the wet grass, and they uh, they get lost and they die. Uh, so uh, we're gonna put this little round pen. It's made out of an old pig panel uh, and an old tarp, as you see. Uh, so we're just gonna put that on top of uh, her and her nest and uh, then they uh, should stay in there. And uh, we've also got chicken wire. I don't know if you can see very well. I got chicken wire around it. I'll show you a little closer here in just a second. <laughs> So we've got her right here and uh, I don't think that she can get out. Her keats might be able to get out, but they won't go too far from mama. And what she'll do is kind of mow all that grass down in there. She'll eat some of that and I'll give her some feed. This is what we elected to do. I'll keep watching her and uh, maybe they'll, uh, they'll hatch soon. No, don't feel nice. <laughs> All right, so they hatched. I've actually, if you watch back in the background, there's an unhappy, it's not the mama, I don't think. It might be the daddy. Uh, mama's still in there, but they've gotten a few of these that came out of the round pen. Uh, they went through the chicken wire, so it wasn't really great. But you see them? Pretty cute, aren't they? Keats are cute when they're little, but when they get big, then they get not so cute anymore. 
but we really like guineas because uh, they seem to help with pests a bit and they do kind of stay out of our garden. It seemed like whenever we've had chickens and guineas and stuff up here, we've had less ticks. This worked a little bit because they all have stayed around here, uh, very close by mama that hatched them. Uh, this other one that's around here, uh, some of them have come out and followed it around. <laughs> they're kind of loud when they're little like this, uh, but Anyway, uh, we got these guineas hatched. I'm not sure how many hatched. Several of the eggs did not hatch. Uh, we put them in the incubator and about six more have hatched and they're up at the pond. Nana and Pop are taking care of them. Uh, they're doing okay uh, and uh, we like our guineas. We are very interested in your feedback and what uh, has worked for you. If you like guineas, if you hate guineas, if they're a love it or hate it for you, comment down below and follow our stuff and uh, come back again. We'll have more stuff for you in the future. Thanks. You hear that? You hear that in the background, the pot right? That's the sound of a female. Uh, Nana says the females make that sound, the pot right. Uh, that's two, two different sounds. You hear it? Uh, and if it's the same sound, the chee 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 chee, uh, then that can be made by the female or the male, uh, but the pot right can only be made by the, the, the female. I'm about to let this thing go. They're doing a lot better, it seems like, as being mothers now. You see this one? It's watching for that one that just uh, uh, that just came out of my arms. Uh, you see it? Did you see the little one go through there? You might not be able to see it very well because it's so far in the background. Uh, you see it? You saw it? That's <laughs> pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, they seem to be doing a bit better now since they have been, uh, you know, uh, restrained and kept in this little spot right here. Uh, so um, maybe this is what we'll do in the future. This is the first time we've done it like this. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.